Welcome back to Area S. S as in Sweden. Today's news, a possible ceasefire in the war in Ukraine. Doesn't really know too much about it. I know there is some stuff that Ukraine wants and of course, I will not say Russia, I will say Putin. Deal with that. I will not say the Russian attack, I will say Putin attack. And someone forgot to turn off their phone. Hmm. Uh, well, mostly I, I know that Ukraine wants to have a public uh, election. election about if they are going to agree with some of the terms. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Political issues. <laughs> So what we're going to talk about today is what if the war continues, what if a crisis comes, uh, a natural disaster? It can just be the power going out for a week or a couple of days. Yeah, it can and be everything. Since this brochure was delivered to the Swedish household 2018. Yeah. And we have misplaced ours. I know we have it saved. As always, we yeah. save everything. And it basically describes wh what you need to be ready for if maybe there's a war or a natural disaster, what we said. Yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. And it tells you what you should have at home if something happens. Exactly. And the uh, what's the name? MSP. Yeah. Um, let's publish it. They there's also another news here in Sweden. They want the government to as quick as possible reinforce a law that we have of uh, civil duty. So that if in case of a war or a crisis, we can be put into the um, medical facilities and work there or uh, baby care or something we regular citizens between 16 i think and, and 70 i think yeah somewhere between that just like the ukrainian is now the males are not allowed to leave the country so yeah do you have a list you said yeah what you should have at home and some of the stuff is pretty obvious, actually. Food and water. Yeah, you should always make sure sure to have food at home. Yeah, and the food, of course, you need pasta and uh, uh, bread. That's we have hard bread here in Sweden. Things that uh, last long in yeah in the pantry. Yeah, exactly. And now. Eggs here in Sweden last a lot longer than they do in the United States of America because yeah. they wash their eggs. We don't here in Sweden. So they have a natural coating that yeah. protects them from. And we don't have to have them in the uh, cool, so to speak, in in the stores. And here we got a little friend. <laughs> you think of Bill? <laughs> <laughs> But we, we're gonna show off the, the food in another episode because we're yeah. gonna show off. Um, I must just tell this funny story. When a colleague of me, mine started at our store where I work, and I described how we do shopping, he called me a prepper. <laughs> I never thought of that before. <laughs> now I realize I maybe we are preppers in one way, even though. I am learned this from I was little, <laughs> but we will talk about that in another episode more <laughs> directly. Yeah, because we know someone that wants to see what we got. Yeah, a couple of them actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, staying on food, however, we can. You also are one of our cats, and if you have animals, of course, I also need food. So yes. always have cat or dog food or any animal food 
for any animals you have at home. Yeah, but everyone needs to eat. Yeah, and uh, what does everyone else need to do? Everyone too needs to do, I would say. <laughs> Drink water. Yeah. Or any liquid, at least, that yeah. contains water. I yeah, specifically think. water, I would say. Yeah. This you need for the cooking of some food too. Yeah, cooking, uh, to clean yourself. Mm. Well, a couple of days you don't, can't go out without, go without cleaning yourself. But as time goes on, you probably want to wash a little and where more, more and more water will go. And I think it's about uh, three liters of water you need to drink every day. Uh, well, here on this page they, they recommend that three liters is for every adult per day. Yeah. And that's, I think that's, is for drinking, in the food, and everything else you're gonna need water for during the day. Except, of course, take a shower. <clears throat> and of course, big bottles with water. Yeah. It's good. This is only, this is less than five liters because we have started to, um, we always have a couple of water uh, stored up here. Yeah. And when it's gone a couple of months, we take them and use them for cooking on our regular days and then we refill it with new water so it doesn't get old. old. <clears throat> you can also put it in the freezer if you have room. We sadly don't. Yeah. Don't fill it the entire way up. In that case the water will freeze and you will have cold water. <clears throat> so those food and water is the main components you need. Yes, always. Always. But what's the next on the list? I think it's heating. Yeah, they have food, water, heat. And of course, if you have food, you might want to cook it. Yeah, let's open our uh, Christ box and see what we have here. We also have a few things extra that's not in the Christ box, but belongs to it. <clears throat> Can we just yes, take everything yeah, out? Yeah. Take one thing up and show them and talk about it. So we we got an envelope first of all on the top, which has some uh, important phone numbers and other important Do information, yeah. documents, and, some, and uh, things. yeah, some copies of uh, documents that we're gonna need if something happened. Yeah, so that that is very good to have. That's in my report. Yeah, we only see the envelope, nothing else. Yes. And well, you have the box. <laughs> I have the box. I take the box. Then we got the little radio of ours. Yeah, this is have a flashlight too, and this can be uh, uh, solar panels. Solar on panels. Top. It ca it's also a power bank for if you want to uh, load your phones. Don't really recommend it though because you need the batteries for the radio. Yes. But it also has uh, what's it called? Mm, yeah, crank, I think. Yeah. And you can. I think you just there, and then you can just use your own power to to get it working. And you can see. I don't know if you can see the little light there, but it's working. We have tried it, so it we do know it works. Yeah, we check it even so often and uh, load it. Because we can load it regular in the regular outlets. So we make sure it's always loaded. And the radio is good because. Yeah, you get news. Still works, still works. It's working. Right. So this is how you can get communication. Of course, there is a flashlight. A little bright, I know. <laughs> yeah, so for communication, it's always good. Yeah, you need to be able to hear what's going on, you know. And you can also use the radio in the car, as long as you have fuel, of course. Yes. Or batteries. There was the box for that one. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to put it in. <laughs> so, <clears throat> next one. Well, we got hand, hand sanitizers. Hand. Yep. One each. One each. One each, one each. It's always good for your hygiene. 
especially maybe the toilets will uh, don't work either. And you need you need good hygiene then. Yes, if you even can... if you can't clean you with too much water all the time, yeah. something to make sure you stay clean is good. We should put the big big bottles in here though. <laughs> that too, yeah. <laughs> And of course, if you want to cook some food, you're gonna need a little kitchen. And we haven't opened this one yet, so we no. bought it. And uh, we also have a couple of fuels here at home for it. And, and we did also buy a second burner. Yeah, a second burner because they only last, uh, I think, 15 to 20 minutes on one burner. Then yeah. you have to let it, let it cool before you refill, then you uh, more fuel. So it's always good to be prepared. Yes. And of course this is a pot. This is a pot for it. And I think also the lid can be used as... A frying pan. Yeah, a frying pan yeah. has to work. And of course if you just have a canned food you can put that over the fire and <laughs> cook it. I mean, it's eating cans, right? <laughs> yeah. But then we have to be able to make fire. So we got... And of course you need to light the flame. Yes, yeah, so we got matches and we got... What's it called? Flint and steel. Thing. Yeah, flint and steel. You should know that, we play Minecraft too. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, some basic stuff to be able to make fire. Yeah. There's the charging cord for the radio when we're gonna charge it regular. Yes. Also have a little compass. compass tool here. Oh, maybe I should. <laughs> well, it's not the most necessary thing. But no, but you had it, so we put it in here. Yeah. I mean... It does have uh, the little magnifying glass. Mm. Not sure why though, but... <laughs> no. I mean, if, if a compass ever fits somewhere, it's in a uh, survival box, crisis yeah. box. Maybe not not the be useful, not the most useful in here. I would say though. <laughs> <laughs> what did we we get last? <laughs> I don't know. No, but they, they recommended some candles. They they both heat he make some heat and uh, light light. And we got one package in here. We got a lot more than this. Let me tell you that. <laughs> we got a power bank. Yeah. Well, we do have the radio, if that works as a power bank 2. It's gonna run off the power 2 soon. Yeah, so it's always good to have something extra. And this one needs to be reloaded, we need to put another one in. Yeah, and of course, some batteries. Yeah, batteries for some flashlights we have, and uh, actually have another radio with going on just those batteries. So. Yeah. <coughs> Well, I think, should we go back to the water? Yeah, we can go back to the water. Because we got this little filtering system, I would say. Yeah. You can connect it to a water bottle. It's like a those life straw, I think they're called. Yeah. They are, more, they, are, they are more bigger straws like this, but this is a smaller kind of version that do the same thing. And it's have a bag you can fill with water and then just drink. And we have my cat playing over there. <laughs> I should just move. No, probably. <laughs> so that's actually I need to think. It's, I think you can attach this one to different okay. stuff. Yeah, I think you can. It's sort of like a regular, regular bottle. Actually. And this is uh, last for one hundred thousand gallons. And I think one gallon is open. 0.2-ish liters, because we yeah. use liter. <laughs> so that's a, this is this is a lot. I mean, this that's a lot, and it removes 99.9 percent of all bacteria. So pretty much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what else do we got in this one? We got a little, what's, what's it called, an army knife? Or a, yeah, multi-tool. Yeah, multi-tool 
thing. Yeah. With different. Like stuff. a like a Swiss Army knife with mm, little other stuff. Yeah. I also used to have a knife in there, but I have to take it out to sharpen it right now to make sure. <coughs> and that's for cutting food with, of course. <laughs> um, let's see. Mm, they are the same, I think. Oh. Yeah, the flashlights. Yeah, they are flashlights without batteries because they're using. And if you do it long enough, they will hold the shot. Not the best sound, I will admit that. Yeah, but it's better nothing. And of course, you, you should always have some blankets for warmth or yeah. a sleeping bag. We don't have them. In here, though. not really room in that box, but we got a lot of blankets. We we have some. I think we have we have blankets. We have a lot of that stuff too. We even have blankets in the car that come with some of the stuff we bought for this one. But we we say we're gonna put them in the car because if we ever gonna need them, there's in the car, and they are like this big in the bag. It was a foil blanket yeah. that keeps the worm in. <clears throat> and that can be another topic for another video. What should you keep in your car if something would happen? I mean, you can be stuck in a snowstorm for lots of hours, you know. Uh, other stuff you might also need. Um, we also have some. We do have some cash. If there's no electricity, it can be hard to pay in the stores, and that's something we have noticed in the Ukrainian war. That I think the first days they rushed to the ATMs and trying to take out money. Yeah. It was good to have some cash at home, and uh, of course, you need diapers. Uh, if you have that. Uh, period uh, protection stuff for women. Yeah, and of course some. Um, Painkillers and or the medicine. Yeah, maybe some cough syrups and the medicine you would usually use yeah. and need. And, and we have the supplies in another box, and we got we are covered. And of course, if you want some extra gas for the car, that's always good to have too. Oh yeah, because that's one of the things that has hired him price recently, it's, yeah. it's the gas. Yeah, the, the gas prices have gone up uh, around the globe, I would say. Yeah. Mostly. But th this is uh, our price box and what we have in it. Also, there's some stuff we need to fix and we need to refill some batteries. Yes. And maybe we should just leave a little list in the description. Some of the stuff to have at home. Sure. Of course we will do that, of course. That was never a question, I think. <laughs> we're always gonna leave us a, uh, something in the description, what we're doing in the video. Yes. Especially this list. And we're also gonna link the page, I think, for the Swedish side. Yes, of course. And uh, I don't know if you can translate it, but... Mm, I don't think it's a p download p file, so... Yeah. But... But I think... <clears throat> so... The camera died. <laughs> yeah, we have to change the battery. <laughs> yeah. Stuff happened. This video has not been going too well too far. Well, got, they got maybe gonna be able a blopper wheel in the future. Hang out for that one. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, but we're gonna link the sites and I don't know if we have any site other sites we can find it in, in English that we can link to, but But I think most countries should have something like this yeah, on, on their own. Yeah, on a government page somewhere. So always make sure to check that out and uh, be prepared. Make sure you know where the, the safe rooms. Yeah, the the closest uh, shelter is. Yeah. Mm. If something 
atoms. Yeah. And let's hope that the news we heard today will be good news and the war in Ukraine will soon be over. Let's pray for that one. And let's hope that we don't really have to use this stuff. Not in the way that's happening around in Ukraine right now, I hope. Yeah, exactly. But remember, there can always be a storm or something. Yes, always be prepared. Yeah, always be prepared. And with that said, I think it's time for a fika. Yeah. So, until next time. Yeah. And be safe. Next time, the sunflowers are back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for those. <laughs> Bye! Bye.